the rule of cinema. Like it is, and it's there for a reason. It's not just being pompous. And can you explain it's, the rule? Creation for me is something that I'm always trying to achieve, which is when you're you're bringing the subject away from the background. It's seen as cinematic, but I think it's mm -hmm. kind of gone too far now that like. When you see it like super blurry, you kind of know yeah. it's a student film, like yeah. <laughs> because it's become mm. so overused. I think it would be weird to have it like super blurry in one shot, and then the rest of the film mm. that doesn't do it. Like mm. so, or if the, if it is going to do that, what's the reason for that? Is mm. there a narrative reason why you're having it like mm. that? Like. For someone who begins uh, as a cinematographer and tries to shoot something, what would you say, like, you need always to follow a set of rules, think about this, this, this and that, and then, you know, build on, on top of it? This, um, I'm not, like, super strict, but there's there's certain rules that I think I, you know, is, is gospel. One is the rule of, you know, the 180 degree rule, like, That's one thing that lots of directors that I've worked with, they're like, oh, now move the camera here and I want this. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you can't because you're crossing the line. And mm -hmm. that's, and they're like, huh? What's that mean? Like, and they kept saying, that's your line, it's not mine. I'm like, no, it's, it's, it's kind of... <laughs> it's everyone's line. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the rule of cinema. Like, it's, it's, and it's there for a reason. It's not just being pompous. And can you explain the rule? The rule is like, if you are filming, um, I guess, a dialogue scene between two people, you you always keep them, I guess, facing the same direction is the way that I would see it. Mm -hmm. Like I check which way they're facing. So you'd have the person on the left hand speaking to the right mm -hmm. and you'd have the person on the right hand speech, speaking to the left. So if you can see, like I'm looking at Richard right now and we have some empty space in front of me and The same is here on, on Richard's camera, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, so this is the rule of uh, 180, 180 degree, degree. rule. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, okay, then anything else, uh, anything about lighting, anything about... Uh, so I don't think mood? there's any particular rules in lighting. Separation for me is something that I'm always trying to achieve, which is when you're, you're bringing the subject away from the background, if they're mm -hmm kind of and you can do that in different ways with lighting or with depth of field um, mm -hmm. which is like separating your character away from the background sometimes they can get muddled in it and they're mm -hmm. not defined away from it so you can do that by contrasting the light on the background with with the actual um, person in front or you can do it by you know blurring out the background which is quite popular especially mm -hmm. when you're shooting with like um, DSLRs and things like that. Um, full Or frame. new iPhones that apparently programmatically do a pretty good job, like the, in, in you know blurring the background. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I think that's that's what that achieves. Which is seen as cinematic, but I think it's mm -hmm. kind of gone too far now that like when you see it like super blurry, you kind of know it's a student film, like yeah. <laughs> because it's become. Mm. So overused, I think. But how, how do you decide? How do you decide like how much blur they want in the background? Like, is there for you? Like, do you have any kind of rules, or it really depends on the scene? There's no rule. I think you. Would, I I tend to say there's no rule, but keep it consistent with the film. So mm -hmm. like, it would be weird to have it like super blurry in one shot, and then the rest of the film mm -hmm. doesn't do it. Like mm -hmm. so. Or if the, if it is going to do that, what's the reason for that? Is mm -hmm. there a narrative reason why you're having it like mm -hmm. that? Like, there's even times when you can cross the line because there's there's films where they've done that, where the whole you know, but it's narrative telling. It's when when a character when their world collapses, when mm -hmm. they find out some news and their whole world falls apart, and the camera crosses that line, mm -hmm. it's shifting the whole audience's perspective on that that scene, and that's a really clever way to to break the rules. Mm -hmm. But purposefully, do you know? Don't mm. do it by accident. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> well, the problem is like all probably all mistakes are being done by accident. <laughs> <laughs> so to follow the rule, you need to know that. Otherwise, it's like you can break the rule, and you can do it purposefully only when you know it. Yeah. If you don't know it, it's usually a mistake. <laughs> Other things, framing-wise, I'm quite a stickler for framing. I know nowadays it's quite popular to use very unconventional framing, especially mm. after. Series is like Mr. Robot completely mm -hmm. just tore the rule book apart mm -hmm. with it. I still find it difficult to watch though, but I, you know, I, I don't kind of get the lines out and the rulers, but I tend to keep to um, a third ish. I shoot, tend to shoot quite wide mm -hmm. with a lot of my projects, so it's not quite the third that I'm shooting. It's mm -hmm. a bit different. Um, but I have my own kind of rules with that of where 
in general, like a, sh a person's eye should sit in the frame. Mm. Um, and it changes depending on their angle looking at the camera, whether they're straight on. Mm. I would tend, so if they're looking straight on, I would tend to put someone in the center. And as I twist round, either side would drift them further to the third. Mm -hmm. To like completely side on would be completely on the third to kind of as it comes mm -hmm. round to the front, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. pushes them more to the center. But the more frontal you are in, in the frame, the more central you are. Yeah. yeah.